play, Ghost in the Machine is a play I did in 93. And when I first got the script, in those days, you know, I was, I was a member of Steppenwolf. I just, no, I'd been a member for about 10 years. Uh, in those days, you know, you offered a role and of course you wanted to work, so you, you kind of took the role unless it was just way out of your range or something. But I got this script and I kind of went like, what is this intellectual, it just seemed like, you know, oh my gosh. And, but the more that we ended up doing the show and I, I realized it was really, really a fascinating piece. And people left the theater talking about it. We had audience discussions and people wanted to know, well, what happened here? Who did this and who did that? And what do you think? And all that stuff. So it, it created a lot of conversation. And I think the thing I liked about it is on the surface, it is very intellectual, uh, very, you know, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of, not to give the whole plot away, but there's computer stuff and somebody confuse, uh, accuses somebody else of stealing money from them right off the bat. It's these two parallel storylines that are kind of running. But you find out that even those people are intellectuals or college professors and musicologists and, you know, uh, computer programmer, uh, that, that the bottom line is they still fall victim to, yes, human basic emotions, you know, sexuality and mistrust and, and suspicion and all that stuff. So I just, I've always wanted to do it again. And I was really pleased, uh, in fact, we just came from rehearsal to hear it again. I thought like maybe, you know, it's been since 93, maybe I didn't, and I've read it, but maybe I'm kidding myself. But no, it, it has a nice build to it. It starts out with this kind of cool intellectualizing and it gradually just gets more and more, the stakes get higher and higher through the thing till the end. <laughs> 